most watched, most trusted weather source. Here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. While other spots in the country are dealing with either tropical weather or heat humidity, we're in a pretty good spot. It's been hot, it's been a little humid, but things are changing outside right now as a cold front moves through, and that's going to keep us a little more comfortable into tomorrow. Mid morning, still in the 70s, maybe just getting out of the 70s in some spots, and only entering the 80s at lunchtime. So it's going to feel a little bit nicer tomorrow, even into the afternoon. Now it's still August, plenty of sunshine, so maybe a little warm for some through the afternoon, but highs should stay in the 80s, and we get a nice northeast breeze as well. So spots along the coast may not warm up a whole lot, kind of like Manio and Elizabeth City. Right now they've got a nice northeast breeze, 14 to 17 miles per hour, already close to the 70s in those locations. The rest of us still seeing that lower humidity and not as hot air push in. 88 in Greenville, 90 in Kinston, 91 in Jacksonville, 86 in Windsor, down to 80 in Elizabeth City, 78 in Manio. Over the next couple of days, kind of swing back and forth. Thursday, Friday, heat and humidity start to build back in. Friday will be kind of the worst day, though Saturday does look hot if you don't see any of the scattered showers and thunderstorms that are expected to return into the forecast. In fact, Friday being a little conservative with those numbers. Some spots have us as high as 98 to 100. I think the better chance for that is closer to the mountains. Wind coming down the mountains dries out the air faster. faster. So from Raleigh to Charlotte, maybe towards Greensboro, that may have the best chance of hitting 100 as we head into Friday, though we will still be close to some record highs. So we'll watch how that goes. After that, we start to see a front push in, but it doesn't really leave. Kind of like what we had a couple weeks ago where we had some better rain chances for several days, hoping we'll get a little more rain out of the weekend than we have over the past few days. You can see the heat advisories, though, stretching all the way from Minnesota down to the Gulf Coast. So this is a pretty significant heat wave, and really the most serious part is that it's lasting a week long. It's not budging. This high pressure in the middle part of the country, very, very strong, but it's keeping the tropics away from the East Coast. Right now, Franklin still has not moved a whole lot. You can see all these little squiggly marks right there. It's been slowly drifting. Right now, it's starting to pick up speed, moving at the northwest seven miles per hour, but just struggling as it kind of sits in the same spot should start to strengthen as it passes through a lot of the islands and then heads back into the Atlantic, making almost a backwards S pattern. That's going to put it on the left side, the west side of Bermuda. So it's expected to kind of split through us. Now, a lot of the ensemble data and a lot of the model data we look at pretty good agreement that this is not going to be an issue for us. It's not going to get very close. We'll have kind of a low pressure trough over us. So winds west to east should keep it from getting too close to us. But just depending on how close it gets could send some larger waves our way for higher rip current risk maybe some beach erosion if those waves get too high, but this is expected to eventually be picked up by the jet stream and then sent up towards maybe the northeast or towards kind of the Nova Scotia area. So not too worried about Franklin, but we'll watch it as it passes by. The middle part of the country still have high pressure and you can still see some areas of tropical development. That's Harold trying to move in and bring some heavy rain and tropical conditions. Right now we're in a pretty good pattern though with northerly winds both at the surface and above our heads. And that's going to keep the tropics away and keep the next couple of days a little more comfortable before we heat back up and then maybe some more 80s arrive next week. It does make us feel a little bit lucky to get this bit of relief while there many parts of the country are just under that sweltering heat. Yeah, we must be living right. I think that's the saying is uh, <laughs> we are doing OK so yeah. far on the eight day. Yeah. And besides some scattered showers this weekend, nothing to cancel plans over, but just know the afternoon and evenings may have to adjust a little bit if there's some rain in the area. All right. Thanks, Zach.